we're going to splint a tib-fib fracture, which is the lower leg. First thing we're going to do is to check pulse, motor, wiggy finger or wiggy toes, and sensation. Can you feel me touching? Yes. Which toe? Big toe. Very good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my triangular bandages in place first. If you go underneath your patient's knee, everybody has got a little spot where you can slide this underneath there, fish it where you need it to go so that you can minimize how much you move your patient's lower leg and decreasing their pain. I like to make sure that it's really secure, so I use a fair amount of triangle bandages. All right, now that we have that in place, now we're going to use our padded board splints, and we're going to use the medium size again because um, our patient's leg is shorter. If we had like a seven foot tall patient, we'd obviously need to use the larger board splints. I'm going to apply these to either side. This one that's going to go on the inner part of the leg, you may need to pad just for comfort for your patient. If you'll hold that there. Now I'm just going to tie these off. If I were to tie this, all my patient I would need to pad underneath the knots. This one I'm just going to tie on the other side so it's not uncomfortable for the patient. Once I have those in place, I'm going to check my pulse again. Ma'am, can you wiggle your toes? And which toe am I touching? Big toe. And we're done.